Hello, everybody. Well, if you've been around, around me, around our ministry for any length of time, you will know that actually I'm very strong on relationships. So the way I began to see things in God many years ago was there's a lot of stuff you've got to do in life. You've got to do stuff. It's just the way it is. The Bible requires that we expend energy on doing stuff. When you wake up in the morning, you got to do stuff. The Bible says if you don't work, you don't eat. So there's work to be done. Stuff's got to be done. At the same time, you want to have relationships. And the real challenge that you kind of have in life is, I've got to do stuff, but I want to enjoy relationships. So, you know, let's go for coffee. Let's go and have a cup of tea. Let's go and have a, uh, let's have a meal together. What's that all about? Well, that's because actually you enjoy having fellowship and enjoy each other's company. And life is rich when you have these kind of relationships. But then there's stuff to be done. So you tend to find that trying to balance these two together in your life is always going to be a challenge. But if you love Jesus with all your heart and you allow Jesus and the love of God and the commandment of God and you let his love be your guide and let it be your, 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 the platform that you and the foundation that you live your life by, you will find that if you will probably more and more default to the, the words of Jesus, the ways of Jesus, and the more you default to that, the more you'll find that the stuff you've got to do becomes um, more powerful and easier to get through and, and you'll get results that you didn't ever think you could get. So 1 John chapter 2, verse 11 says, But anyone who hates a fellow believer is still living and walking in darkness. Such a person does not know the way to go, having been blinded by the darkness. In other words, if you're stumbling around in darkness and you don't know which way to go, it's probably because, first of all, you haven't put Jesus as first place and love in your heart and your life. And secondly, you've got to give place for the, for the love of the body of Christ. In fact, Jesus felt so strongly about this that one day uh, the people came to call him and they they pulled a relationship move on him and they said, Jesus, your mother's looking for you and your brother's wanting to talk to you. And Jesus answered them and said, who is my mother and who is my brother? But he who does the will of the father. And so they were trying to say, listen, you've got to get your priorities straight here, Jesus. Your blood family is waiting for you and talking to you. And he's saying, no, you need to get your priorities right. There is no bigger relationship than the one that doing the will of the Father, where you put the Father first place. That's highest priority. Then the relationship with everybody else that's in the natural begins to come into order. Doing stuff, having relationship. Put relationship with Jesus first, then the doing of the stuff begins to flow. Put his words, his ways, all of the presence and the joy of God, the very essence of who God is, put it first place in your life. Let it come out of your mouth. Let it be part of your conversation. Let it be part of your thought process, your planning process, your thinking process. Let everything that he is and who he is, let it be that. Let the relational component of your life in him be the guide to you. Then you'll see all the stuff, the doing of stuff just falls into place and you get so much more joy and pleasure and productivity out of that. Wow, such a wonderful time I've had with you this morning. I look forward to having uh, more time with you around this subject. Thank you for, for tuning in today and God bless you.